there. Welcome back to the Hacienda. Ruben here. Uh, welcome back to the kitchen. Today we're going to make something delicious. But then we're always making something delicious here. Today we're making Spanish sopa de ajo, which is uh, garlic soup. It is a traditional rustic peasant uh, soup uh, from Spain. We're going to need uh, about 15 teeth of garlic uh, or about two heads. You know, that's just roughly the amount you want. So I'm going to bust up uh, two heads of garlic and uh, then we'll chop them later. To the Spaniard, bread is truly the staff of life. And uh, a meal without some sort of crusty bread or breadsticks really isn't the meal. And uh, part of this recipe calls for breadcrumbs. And traditionally what is done is with the stale bread that's left over, uh, it is turned into breadcrumbs. They waste nothing. And this forms uh, a basis for the soup. What I have here is half a loaf of uh, Mrs. Rivet's uh, sourdough bread. It's starting to get a little stale, so I'm going to slice it up. And uh, I'm going to stick it in the oven and toast it, both sides, and then we're going to crush it into crumbs. All right, what we have here is one head of parsley, which we're going to chop. Next thing we're going to do is chop up the garlics. Now, they don't have to be chopped up very much, very finely, uh, or you can slice them. Just uh, coarsely chop them up is fine. All right, what we want here first off is a non-reactive uh, skillet pot to make the soup in. We've got our cast iron enamel pot over medium heat. And we want anywhere from a quarter cup to a third of a cup of olive oil. Once our oil is hot, we are going to add the garlic and we're going to saute it over medium heat again until it gets soft. Now you don't want it to brown or any darker because it will get bitter. This uh, sweating out sauteing is going to release all the good flavors of the garlic. Two, maybe three minutes over <clears throat> medium low heat. Then we're going to add the three cups of breadcrumbs that we made. And uh, we're going to stir that in too, maintaining the heat. It's going to absorb the oil. And if it seems a little dry at the bottom, you want to see definite oil. Um, we can add a little bit more olive oil. You really can't add too much olive oil to this recipe. Once the two or three minutes are up uh, and the bread's toasting, we're going to turn off the heat. And we want to add two generous teaspoons each of Spanish smoked paprika and uh, Spanish, uh, this is a smoked paprika, sweet and uh, hot. So you, you don't want to scorch the paprika, that's why you turn it off. So we're going to add two generous teaspoons of each. For the sweet paprika, you can substitute Hungarian, but you definitely need uh, some smoked paprika for this because that's what's going to give it its signature flavor. And if you don't have it, you're, you're really not going to end up with the same uh, soup. Uh, this is homemade chicken broth. It's concentrated. And uh, we're going to pour it in like so because now we're going to add two quarts of water. What I got here is one generous teaspoon of coarse ground uh, salt and coarse ground pepper. Okay, here we are after um, half an hour of simmering. The breadcrumbs have absorbed all the moisture and they're starting to break down. Looks good. Um, now we're going to taste it and we're going to correct for salt, pepper, and flavors. Okay, I added uh, about another quart and a half of water a good heaping teaspoon of salt and another good heaping teaspoon of the sweet paprika. This is what it should look like and uh, now we're just going to simmer it. Uh, I'm going to cover it, simmer it for about another 15-20 minutes. Alright, and this is what the parsley was for. little garnish on top. Now what was also done is uh, <clears throat> if you have an egg um, you break it open, try to keep the yolk intact, and slide it into the boiling soup in the pot, and uh, you have a uh, poached egg with your soup for a little bit of added nutrition and flavor. But this is it. This is sopa de ajo. Let's uh, give it a try. Mmm, it smells delicious. Oh, oh my goodness. Mmm, oh my. Wow, that is warming to the bones. 
This is perfect for a cold winter's day.